An ex vassal. Do it. And now I can stop improving relations with them because relations are already maximized. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. And I suspect that the Ottomans have lost their opportunity to coalition me. They have. Mamluks still could. Tunis theoretically could. But uh, most of Europe seems to have calmed down enough, so I feel like I can go after some of this. Maybe even the Pope. Taking out the Pope would allow me to link Naples with my Florentine territories. Are you allied with Ferrara? You are still allied with Ferrara. Yeah, I'd rather fight the Pope than Burgundy. I think I'll let my economy rebound for a little bit longer. Especially as I do need to replace some of these forces. Um, so in fact... Let's go ahead and put you in a ship, send you home over here, and we'll rebuild you. Then you may as well just sit here and drill, to be quite honest. We gain a level 2 trade advisor who's 50% cheaper. Hell yeah. Can't upgrade him yet, but I could in the future. Right, you start drilling. And you need to start recruiting and also drilling. Marvellous. So here the professionalism is going to start rising once more. My Inquisitor died, so there goes my missionary strength. Let's take the prestige. Prestige is helpful. And you are Catalan, so I can promote you. Native assimilation to Martinique. Martinique is now self-sustaining. Minority expelled. The minority in Urgell has finally been shifted off to Martinique. The city is now populated by proper Aragonese subjects that follow the Protestant religion. Minority has also increased the development of the colony by three. Well, we can start on St. Lucia, which we probably ought to do. Although, one other thing I want to do is go, hey, Portugal, I would love for you to tell me a little bit more about this Caribbean area. Thanks. You have not taken Havana. Well, that, my friend, is a mistake. I will take it. And I will send the... Catalan minority from Barcelona there. Off you go. Expelling minorities should probably take a little development from the person doing it. Well, that's effectively what the diplomatic points you're spending are, I think. And now my income is really starting to spiral. I heartily approve. I could probably start building some more buildings. Uh, production's not really worth it. Market prob... Oh, actually, no. Not either. Well, actually, we need to wait until these are done, and then we need to start upgrading centers of trade so we can start really stealing uh, Alexandria's trade. The other thing I need to do is get Valencia upgraded to a level 3 so I can get the uh, Silk event here. France has announced the Ottomans as a rival, so they're no longer rivaled with Castile, which is nice. Another expansion idea. Here's another colonist. Um, yeah, nothing else to use you on. Boop. And also Sapring Chance, which is great. Okay, um... Well, seeing as how I am going for Havana, I may as well go for these as well. So we'll go for Canmar. We'll send some more Catalans. Which can be Girona. And these guys... 
We'll need to ship over there as soon as they have arrived in Havana, which is now. I can't actually sail over there. Shite. Um... That's a problem. I know about the land, but not the sea. Also, I need to be aware of the fact that I do want to start expanding along the coast here. It looks like we still have time to do so. Not very many people have gone for the Ivory Coast yet. Cores are starting to finish. Mamelukan separatists are starting to look a little bit threatening, so let's go ahead and un-drill you. We're fourth. We are the same size as France. So you know what? I'm now bigger than France. <laughs> Oh no, Stephen Rules died. Um, well, my military tradition should be pretty decent. Between 5 and 12 points. Or actually, let's just use Tygon, seeing as we have you already. And there we go, a bunch of cores. So we need to start some... Centers of trade going, and I think actually Rosetta is going to be a better early option. So let's go. Oh, you need to be stated. That could be arranged. Delta and Saranacia. Yeah. Entrepot. Marvelous. And that should be a pretty dramatic increase to the amount of money being pushed out of here. Although there's actually very little cash actually coming in. We need to start spreading over there. Ottomans are stealing too much of it. Also, just the sheer amount of devastation, I think. I thought I told you to stop drilling. Crap. Thankfully, you spawned on Alexandria. And we can start... Converting this stuff, though it's going to take us a while. Let's give you missionary strength. Let's also continue coring you. Point five short. Ugh. Do churches give missionary strength? Clergy does, I know that. Nope, just tax modify. We'd need to wait for a cathedral, which we can't get until level 19. Because I really don't want to give you to the clergy, but I feel like I'm going to have to. You and Alexandria, because you're both kind of big provinces. Really, just about to lose here. You are. That's annoying. Thankfully, there's still a lot of time to take over, and we have a lot of power. So I think I'm just going to start converting Rosetta. And Benghazi. could also disinherit you now. Queen's a little old, though. Ah, you're still good enough. 
Military will suffer for a while, but my military points are way ahead, so I feel like I can absorb that loss for a bit. Good grief, you've got more and more people there. So I think what I'm going to need to do is stop you drilling and send you over. Bring in reinforcements. Mamluks, internal conflicts. <laughs> Dear. Mamluks are not going to have a good time, and yeah, the Ottomans took a bunch of territory. Thankfully, the Ottomans themselves are being punished by Pol the uh, Polish. Sheer weight of numbers should allow me to win this one. Good. Let's spread you out again. There are still a couple of rebels who could potentially rise, but right now I think we're fine to just drill for a bit more. Okay, so Alexandria can upgrade. Benghazi can upgrade. And now we should be getting a lot more control over the Alexandria node. I think we're okay there now. Although, I should probably give you to the Berkers. Okay, so Rosetta is being converted, so I can give you to the Berkers. How are you doing for influence? Yeah, your influence is definitely getting up there. And the Admiral just died. Okay. Core Alexandria. Then we can give you to the Berkers as well. Wow, Tunis is not having a good time either. Morocco is rising as a power, for sure. And I was just going to say, Bosnia was doing really well, and then Bosnia died. Austria is getting a bit more scary. Havana's producing tobacco. That's good. I mean, it's not good. Tobacco sucks. But it's good, because it makes me loads of money. And we could tech up, but I don't think we should, although Miltech 12 is another big one. Tercios and military tactics. We should get special Tercios. It's what Spain was famous for. It's part of the reason Spain was so unbelievably hard to uh, defeat. It's the quality of their Tercio. Right, I feel like I should go and help Naples here. I was going to say, how come they've got guns already? But that's because they are Miltec 12. Let's do this. And squish. Portugal is now considered a great power. Did they just re replace Castile? Please tell me they just replaced Castile. Oh, and also I've got too many military points. Uh, great powers. Yep. Okay. Good. Oh no, Portugal discovered me. Alright, let's go and start spying on Castile. And hopefully steal their maps instead. Should be quicker, because uh, Castile is actually a rival and you get bonuses when spying on rivals. We are still making a small fortune in cash, which is great. And I think I'm going to save up so that I can get Valencia to a level 3. Because then we get the silk bonus. For how long will I be streaming? I was just thinking about that, actually. This seems to be a relatively decent stopping point. I'm going to wait until I've got enough money to upgrade Valencia, then I'll probably stop. So, probably be five minutes or so. Unless something big happens. 
Need 800 to upgrade. Are the Ottomans currently on the receiving end of an arse kicking? Yes. I think they may have overextended against the Mamluks, which is quite impressive, all things considered. So what are the next steps for us? I wouldn't mind doing another war against the Ottomans. As much as Poland beating them up is amazing, I'd quite like to humble them myself. Or do a, a trade conflict. Actually, if they're competing in Alexandria, which they might be... They're not. Not really. Um, we should be able to win a trade conflict. Unless, of course, they get access to my territories again via Austria. Traitorous bastards. Also, I don't like having those rebels right next to where you're drilling. Let's back off a bit. But then after the Ottomans, we still need to beat up the Mamluks again so we can take these two provinces in order to prepare for the Suez, although we're a long way away from Suez, I realise that. And we should probably start colonising Africa more. I was just aware of how much Portugal's investing in the Caribbean and I wanted to get to ten provinces if we can. We're currently on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. We might have to fight Portugal and take some of their Caribbean provinces so we can get to ten. I don't really have much interest going above ten. I'm not expecting to be making massive fortunes out of the colonies. I'm more getting the merchants out of the colonies is why I'm doing that. Venice rivaled the Ottomans. That's good. That means that Venice is going to like me more. And there it is. 800 ducats. Valencia. Let's make you a world port. And with that, we can complete the Venet uh, Valencian Silk, which turns Valencia into a silk producer with a plus 25% goods produce bonus. So your production is currently 0.8. That's going to go up quite a lot. And your trade value is 6. That may not go up. Though it probably will. Okay, that had already calculated. Because, yeah, you've got the Syndicat Remensa as well as the Loccia de la Seda giving you goods produced of 1.5. I'm actually surprised you're not making more out of production. We do have a workshop here. Oh well, still good. Not going to complain too heavily. It's silk. What's the effect of silk in the province? That's a good question. Local trade power goes up. So yeah, silk is a really good combo with a world port. Anyway, I think that that is a good spot to end this stream. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have... Be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. Helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. Uh, no, I couldn't get rid of the Catalans in Valencia because it converted to reformed when I got the bloody reformed institution. Uh, faith thing. Center. Center of Reformation, which pissed me off no end. Uh, I do also have a YouTube, which you can find at youtube.com slash mordredviking. Uh, that is where the Madagascar series is being uploaded. I'm probably not going to do this one, just because it's going to be overwhelming. Um, so this is a Twitch exclusive. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, there is also a lot of other content up there, like Total War, uh, Crusader Kings. I'm trying to think what other series I have actually going right now. Surviving Mars. 
Stellaris, that's the other one. Speaking of Stellaris, I am not going to do Crusader Kings this evening after this. I'm going to do Stellaris instead because I have been rolling up the Imperium of Mordred and I really want to play as them. They actually look really good and good fun. Uh, I couldn't quite muster the enthusiasm with the robots, but I am feeling it for this one. So I feel like that's going to be really good. That's going to be kicking off at 10 p.m. as is scheduled. It's just not going to be Crusader Kings. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Um, like Dana was saying, Discord. I didn't mention Discord. Uh, Discord is where I tend to announce what I'm streaming and where. It's also where the community hangs out. So if you wish to come and join us over there, you are absolutely more than welcome. Heartily welcome. Uh, so, awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll catch you guys in an hour and 20 minutes-ish. I'm going to have some pizza. Bye!